You know who this lady is here. You better know. <laughs> and there's Martin's wife. And there's three pookies around the table. My pookie, is that pookie? And there's Chuck pookie. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, Swadika. We're, we're off out for the evening, and you can see we're crossing the tracks. We're crossing from our side where our house is, that's the, the, the right side of the tracks. Right. And we're going over to the wrong side of the tracks, <laughs> to the other side, to the dark side. Dark side. We're on our way down to Soy Sampan. Are you Pan. talking about dark side? What, what is that in the Amsterdam? No, not Amsterdam. Red. No, no, no. Is it red area? Totally different. <laughs> <laughs> what was she on about? I don't know what she's taken today, but uh, she's coming out with some strange what things. What do you mean, but I'm taking? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we've, we've crossed the tracks over I'm to this side. I'm taking to my sticky right, sorry. Maybe, yeah. And uh, we're going to make our way through UD Town. We're going down to Soy Sampan. Soy Sampan or Soy Fereng. Soy Sampan. As it's better known, where the bars are. That's the, uh, that's the dangerous side of Udon Thani, the dark side of Udon Thani. We're you going down there anyway. You think so? Well, you it depends so? how you look at it, really. Yeah. I mean, if I was if I was visiting Soy Sampan every night, you'd wonder, wouldn't you? You'd wonder what I'm up to. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Don't say anymore. Huh? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> she can't talk. She can't. <laughs> if I came home at like 10 o'clock every night and I said to Poop, oh, I've been down to Soy San Pan, uh -huh. she wouldn't be very happy about it, I know that. Just go, just go. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, there's a car trying to get by. So, UD Town, starting to get ready for another evening of business. And usually very busy now. Oh, it's a great day as well. I was just speaking to Pook about the rainy season, so we're getting towards the end of the rainy season now. Yes. And um, seeing some beautiful days come back, a little bit of rain in between. Oh, can I uh, just mention something? Yeah, of course. That's a new shop. Uh, Ita, Ita Leisure, where they sell uh, the drink from Italy. Italy. Oh, they're selling wine? Yeah. Wine and, and also really good quality other coffee. drink. Yeah, yeah. Not just why they got a lot of stuff in there. I'll show you the front. I'll Coffee. show you the front. So where upper restaurant is, there's upper restaurant just below it. Italia. <laughs> That's a weird word that Italesia. is. Italia. Italia. Asia and, and Italian. Oh, Italy, Italy, Asia, yeah, yeah. of course. Mm, that's dumb of me. Okay, also if you want to know where that is, that's the railway crossing over there. Mm. Takes you back over to the sweeter side of town where we come from. So this is where we almost, you know, every mm. day. And yeah. if you want stalking me, so I'm going to be here. Yeah, hang around on the railway crossing. <laughs> You're bound to bump into us at some time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, down there, that's where Soy 4 is and the street food, the main street food area. Although the whole of this place, who was it? Was it Chuck or was it Luke? Oh, Lucas. Lucas from Ride for Kicks channel. When he visited here, he couldn't believe it. He came out in the evening and he walked right the way through here and down to Soy and he said he just couldn't believe it, the amount of food that was available. Food everywhere. Stars. Yeah, that's right. That place over there, we've got to try that. What's it called? Shinda Hot Pot. Very well known, very famous, but we never try. It's like a... Um, well, they charge you on the skew, okay? It uh, start from five baht, something like uh -huh. that. You just sit there and then... The food go on the on a conveyor belt. On the what they call it? conveyor belt. Yeah, like a, like an airport one. Yeah? Like well, like Yo Sushi. Do you remember when we used to yeah, go to yeah. Yo Sushi in yeah, London? Yeah. Same kind of thing. Yeah. So um, we'll have to give it a try though and do a little review. Yeah. Okay, so what time is it, Pookie? Try something because we're meeting sick for dinner. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and see two of our favourite people. Yes. <laughs> we'll talk about them when we see them. But uh, yeah, you see, the place is really, really getting busy this this early on. Loads of people out eating. Music. Oh, there's loads of music, so we're probably... We've got to be careful. I've got to keep talking now, which isn't difficult for me, just in case we get a copyright strike. 
So let's cut through here. Bill, and just give me away. <laughs> Who? Bill. Who did? Bill. Bill? Mm. Bill. The one we met in Nong Bua Park and sometime in So Samhang. Bill, Bill, Bill. Oh, what? Canadian Bill? I think so. I think he's Canadian. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. Big Bill. Oh, right, okay. It starts to quieten down as you come over here. Let me show you. So you've got the clothes area here, and then straight across there, you've got even more clothes and you've got more food as well. And again, like I say, this is what Lucas was talking about. Just couldn't believe it, he was over there. We've been there with Chuck and Paige as well. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, hang on a minute. There's something else. I hope I can get this video out quick. Chuck and Paige are coming to town. Chuck got in touch with me the other day, and he said, we're coming into town. Let's meet up. I always like meeting up with Chuck. He's always got plenty of interesting stories about his travels and the people that he's meeting and his, his experiences of people online as well. So yeah, Chuck and Paige from No Time To Be Sad YouTube channel, they're coming to town and uh, we'll be seeing them within the next few days. I love this smell. You're walking through here and you just got the smell of barbecue food. And this is where you can you can get ta tilapia. Tilapia fish, yeah. Yeah, so salty one. You know? Yeah, they come. Hold on a minute. You know, it's really quite strange because the tilapia fish they cook over there, they are the white mm -hmm. fish. Yeah. But they're not white. They're covered in salt. That's what makes uh -huh. them white. They absolutely pack them with salt. Yeah. And um, oh, 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 when careful. you eat it, you would think that it's going to taste salty, but it doesn't, does it? No. They use the salt to kind of Should seal it as they're cooking. Go. Let's go. Could be dangerous. Yeah, I think we're all right. Yeah. Look at that. You can see the sun going down up towards. We're heading towards Central Plaza at the moment. And for those of you who don't know much about Udon Thani. This is where the, all the life is, you know, the bars, the um, food again, more food, massage shops, all of that kind of stuff is up here. And we walk too far, I'm hungry. Yeah. The thing is, I don't really like filming when we go on soy sandpan because you know what it's like. The girls. Yeah, a lot of guys go around with cameras and they're filming the bar girls no, and things like that. And, and it's not for me. It's not the done thing. It's we can you might, it up before that. Yeah, I will do. Thing is, you get some girls who are working in bars and they're not telling their parents or their family what they're doing. They're telling them that they're working in hotels or cleaning or whatever. Oh, more music, hang on a minute, let's cut this. Okay, so that's a shoe shop back there with music blaring, always music blaring. We've got a bit of live entertainment there. Let me have a look at his guitar. No, it's not. But it looked like, a, the body of it looked like a, a nice fender. Anyway, let's carry it. Gross. <laughs> There's the flower stall. It smells beautiful as you walk past here. Let me get some cash. Okay? Why do you want cash? I'll I, pay the skin. I know, but I need to give them some. So, for those of you who don't really know Don Tani that well, just up there, go around to the right, there's a visa agency up there. What are they called, Pookie? The Visa Place, what's it called? Visa Plus. Visa Plus, that's it, they're just up there, you go round to the right if you need any help on, or advice on visas. And then, let's see if we can get Pook's PIN number. I'm looking for your PIN number. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, was it? Just over there. Anyone who watches our channel will probably recognise that over there, Good Days Cafe. And that is our ultimate favourite for breakfast. I was there just yesterday, I met up with Alex, the footballer, Alex, Alexander Capasoda. And we end up sitting in there for like almost two hours just chatting about anything and having wonderful food and lovely coffee. It's all good. I know he's getting a bit impatient waiting for that car to pull out. Look, he's going to overtake. And uh, they're just not very good. Hello. This is Nick. Hi, Nikki. This is Nikki's place. She's got rooms up above here. And Nikki, she bakes bread there. Hi, Nikki. Nikki bakes her, her own bread here, and that's her cafe over there. Good Days Cafe, the one I've just been telling you about. 
So if you're in town, visit Good Days. If you need a room, come and see Nikki. She's got rooms up above here, reasonable price. And um, yeah, she'll sort you out, no problem at all. Okay, we're getting near soy sand pan now, so I'm gonna cut the camera and uh, I'll do a little bit of filming when we meet up <laughs> with David and I'll, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, we've got to show the food. I haven't seen Manfredo, the guy who owns it, for no. such a long time, have we? No. So here we are on soy sand pan. It's a little bit quiet. What night is it? Oh, it's Thursday. I was thinking it was Friday for some reason. So Thursday night, a little bit quiet. Um, I'm sure it'll pick up a little bit in a while. And we've come down to Manfredo's. Does Sophia? Let me show you the sign. We've been here many times before. And the food is fantastic. Manfredo, good friend. And um, yeah, food's always good here, it really is. And uh, it's our go-to place for pizza. Um, our favorite place in town for pizza. So let me just show you what we've got. It's already been served up. It looks like they've already started diet. How is it, Dave? That's great. Yeah? Very really good. Mm -hmm. What did you order? Which one? Uh, four seasons. Okay. So it's bacon, mushrooms, olives, stuff like that. He calls it four seasons. Which one did you order, Oat? Hang on. Two seasons. Two seasons. Because <laughs> she's not greedy. <laughs> bacon and mushroom. Um, we've got the usual, Pookie. Pe pepperoni? Cerami or pepperoni? Either or. Whatever. <laughs> but it's lovely. There it is, there. I like so, it. So I've just been served up my first. Hang on a minute. This is my first slice, I haven't started it. What's happened to that big chunk that's missing there? Ah, lucky. Okay, I'm gonna uh, tuck into this now, I'm starving. Very nice, enjoy. Mm. Thank up. you. Thank you. You're taking videos. Huh? I know you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It was uh, song Cran in um, non project and you said, Paul, Paul. Oh, Paul, there Paul. you go. That, uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 I know. And you said, yeah. it must be F and death, whatever you can't hear me. I was calling someone, do you yeah, remember? Uh, oh. And that's true, and my my mate's in Australia. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So pleased to meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> How nice you to been? meet you, yeah, we're How good. You been? We're good, we're good. We just had something to eat, we're just going to walk back and go well, home now. Good luck. Nice All seeing right. you, you take care. You too. Well, there okay. you go, nice seeing you. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Ow. Look who's here! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I just was, I was, on, I was on the way when you called me. Just oh. So we're done. Absolutely stuffed. Absolutely stuffed. Not often we eat pizza. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got to tell you something. We're sitting, in fact, we've just met up with someone and it's prompted me to do a video that I've been meaning to do for months and months and months. and. I'll be honest with you, that video upsets me. It's going to upset me to do it, and I haven't been able to do it up to now. But seeing this guy tonight, it's prompted me to make sure that I do it. It's important. This here is a bag full of Swiss chocolate, isn't it? I think All so. different kinds of Swiss chocolate. And what it is, a friend, a friend of ours, he's got this friend, comes from Switzerland, Moroccan guy, lives in Switzerland, and whenever he comes over here, he brings Pook a big bag of Swiss chocolate. <laughs> and We've just been sitting in Manfredo's and uh, <laughs> I was arranging to go for a coffee with him sometime, but he's, we just bumped into him. So he's gone back to his hotel and brought Pook's chocolate out. The dogs, oh, dogs are starting. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, Pook's got a bag full of chocolate. I've been prompted to do a video that I've been meaning to do for many, many months now. And I just haven't really felt like I, I couldn't bring myself to do it, but I think I can now. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be coming out soon. And we finished in Manfredo's, stuffed with pizza. Pizza really does bloat me. But I don't have it very often. And it's late for us as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We it's, don't normally eat this late. It's okay, we walk back. Yeah. There's the food gone down. Yeah, we're walking yeah. back from Soy Sam Pan. Mm -hmm. And we're going to walk up and across the railway lines mm -hmm. where we started the video. And we're gonna go back, get on our bike, head home. We got to speed up because there's chocolate in here. Oh yeah, it you might know? melt, yeah. And I'll fancy a coffee when I get back, I think. My coffee? Yeah, well, Balinese is shut now, isn't it? <laughs> so I can't go to Balinese. Okay, okay I'll so. I'll make you a nice coffee. We're, uh, we're heading home now. But really nice night, and if you're in town, go into Manfredo's. Beautiful place, food's always good, and um, highly recommend it to you. He sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, really good. Uh -huh. 
second night in a row for Pook and me to come out on the soy sampan. It's really unusual for us. Um, we don't really come out down this way a lot. We'll spend more of our time over in UD Town and places like that. But um, no, we're back here tonight because Chuck called up a few days ago and he said that him and Paige and the Soy Mafia were down. They were staying in Udon Tani for a few days visiting. So um, he said, come and meet us for something to eat. So we have done. And we've come to, this is one of Chuck's favorites, by the way, the Irish clock. Uh, the lady that they know who owns it, she's recently sold the place, but she's joined us tonight. Even though there's new owners, she's actually joined us tonight to have dinner. So she's sitting down relaxing with us, sort of. She's sort of like still mingling, speaking to some of the clients who were coming in here when she owned the place. So you probably all recognise Chuck and Paige. Hello, hello. This is Martin. He's one of our subscribers. He's come down to uh, visit the eye clinic. And uh, if it's all right with you, we'll do an interview tomorrow about the eye clinic, what you're Absolutely. having done. Absolutely. And then we'll do a before and after, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, those of you who are interested in the eye clinic, having some eye surgery done, um, we can have some more information for you. Soy Matthew, Matthew at this end of the table. Again. Good evening, ladies. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know who this lady is here. You better know. <laughs> and there's Martin's wife. And there's three pookies around the table. My pookie, is that pookie? And there's Chuck pookie. And the food's really good here as well. Every time we've been here, I've never had a problem. Food is great. So, uh, mine should be arriving any minute now, and I'm going to tuck in. Starving hungry. And a Guinness. Got a Guinness on the go there. And it's good. It's good. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. And they've got it on tap, apparently. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down now and uh, get ready for something to eat. There's a lady at the end there. Sorry, what the lady who owned the place? What's her name? Psalm. Psalm, that's it. And like I say, she's recently sold the place. She can actually sit down and relax with us this evening. Usually she's running around manic, dealing with everyone, making sure everything's working all right. But now she can sit and relax and enjoy some food with us. I've just been talking on uh, Chuck's video about Sunday roast. Chuck didn't know much about a Sunday roast until he tried the brick house over the road from here. And uh, I've just been explaining to him. As a kid, it was, it was almost like a religion, having a Sunday roast in England. Uh, and, and I remember one summer's afternoon, Sunday it was, and uh, I said to my mum, it's too hot to have a Sunday roast. Can I have beans on toast? And this is the mentality behind it. She said to me, don't be so stupid. It's Sunday, you've got to have Sunday roast. That's how they used to stick so rigid to it. And today I've got something that I haven't had for ages. I should have filmed it before I started munching on it, really. But jacket potato with beans. Oh, it's great. It really is. Jacket potato, lots of butter, beans, and bacon. And they do a side salad with it as well. Absolutely gorgeous. What did you have, Chuck? I had a pork steak. Good. With mashed potatoes, pretty good. Uh -huh. Page had a filet mignon, it's really good. Yeah? Beautiful. And there's lots of different dishes here, lots of Thai food. What have you got there, Martin? I have no idea. But it's good? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Is it okay? It's perfect. It's perfect. Whatever, Whatever it is, it, is it's perfect. it looks like pork. Like Penang, what is this? Penang Moor. Penang Moor. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. And Pookie down here, look at Pook. She's, she's only got a glass of water. You're seriously not eating? Do you want some of this jacket potato? You're on the whiskey. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to get back to this potato. It looks too good. You don't want to be on YouTube? Too late. Sorry. What are you hiding? 